the West Bank, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah, that's the real name of the West Bank. I went to synagogue yesterday and told the guys about the Quran saying the Jews follow Ezra as the Messiah. It's actually son of God, son of God. And in the Hadith, the Jews, the main accusation on Judgment Day, on Judgment Day, the main accusation against Jews is why did you worship Ezra? Their faces were genuine, organic, shock, confusion, and contempt. You should have seen it. Also, I've written lyrics for a song of mockery. Can you help me, Sal? Oh, yeah, Sal's the one who's been doing the music. Uh, you yeah. You should arrange that. <clears throat> yeah, I, I talked to some Jews. I did want to get a recording. I didn't end up getting the recording, but I was talking to a couple of Jews and, and telling them, hey, you know, the Quran says that you guys, uh, that you guys uh, believe Ezra's the son of God, and Muhammad in the Hadith says that you worship him. Uh, so what's up with that? And uh, the, res the response from one of them was, um, a better question you might want to ask Jews is, can you name me any one thing you know about Ezra? Besides like, <laughs> besides like, I have a cousin named Ezra. Can you name anything? <laughs> so the idea that they're actually over there worshiping Ezra and they don't even, they don't even know anything about him. Anyway, weird situation. If, if, you, if you told them, uh, if you asked them about um, people calling Ezra the Messiah... I think that would that could be uh, there could be an explanation for that, right? If you um, at at some point in Jewish tradition, um, Ezra could be seen as some form of 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 Messiah or some something like that. There could have been a, a, a strain or a tradition, something at some point like that. Maybe, maybe that's also I don't know how it happened, but um, that is definitely not the same as calling Ezra. <clears throat> the son of Allah and Jews calling him the son of Allah and worshiping Ezra. Mm -hmm. uh, how in the world did that even get into the, <laughs> into Muhammad's or, or the Quran's uh, narrative? It's, it's, uh -huh. it's just, it doesn't really make sense. Yeah. Especially when in both the Quran and the Hadith, it's in a way that supposedly parallels Christian belief. In other words, it's, yeah. Yeah. it's, uh, Jews say Ezra is the son of Allah, and Christians say the Messiah is the son of Allah. So mm -hmm. it's 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 both in the context of you're worshiping something other than Allah, and it's used in, in, as a blanket criticism of the Jews, just as it's used as a blanket criticism of Christians. Uh, but then in the Hadith, you find the exact same thing. Christians on the Day of Judgment, the main accusation against them is, why did you worship Jesus, and then the main accusation against the Jews is, why did you worship Ezra? So this is, this is, it's supposedly very widespread. And the, this, uh, the idea, oh, you know, maybe it was just some localized group a long time ago, doesn't fit. Because again, this is Jews in general on the judgment day. Why are you guys worshiping Ezra? It don't fit. <clears throat> Huge problem. In fact, I mean, if you didn't know anything about Islam other than it's just making that claim about uh, Jews and it's completely wrong, that that's enough to raise some red flags and going, what's going on here? I would say this is this is just one one reason where you can like, if if you deal with it so um, if you deal with it to a great extent, it is an argument that you can use to conclude that Islam is clearly false because it is something that the Quran says the Quran makes a false claim there is no way to resolve this uh, this problem uh, except to conclude that the Quran is wrong on this and if the Quran is wrong about this and the Quran is supposed to be the eternal word of Allah then that means the Quran and, and therefore Allah is making a false statement and that is contradictory to the Quran's claim that Allah is the Almighty all-knowing and that the Quran is free of f f faults. So if you conclude that that statement is false, then, the, then Islam altogether mm -hmm. is false. This disproves Islam. That disproves atheism. Hey. Alhamdulillah. According, according to early Muslim scholars and commentaries of the Quran or the tafsir of the Quran, uh, the Quran chapter 9 verse 30 was revealed or was addressing a specific group of Jews in Medina where the Prophet Muhammad was.
according according to Tafsir of Ibn Abbas al tabari and al qurtubi the Quran chapter 9 verse 30 was addressing some Arab Jews such as Panas and Salam bin Mishkam who were saying that Ezra was the son of God. Also see Ibn Ishaq page 269. Now I know I said Ibn Ishaq is generally not reliable, but this narration of Ibn Ishaq is backed up by other relatable or other reliable sources. Then the, then the question arises, does the Quran chapter 9 verse 30 address all Jews or a specific group of Jews? According to Tafsir of Qurtubi, volume 7, page 116, the phrase, the Jews, said, or in Arabic, the Yaqad al-Yahud, the verse does not refer to all Jews, but that statement is supposed to be specific. In this case, it's those Arab Jews in Medina. Conclusion here is that the Quran chapter 9, verse 30, is talking about a specific group of Jews in Medina who are saying Ezra was the son of God and not all Jews. The commentary of Qurtubi confirms this using Arabic grammar. This is what the Quran is referring to, or the Quran chapter 9 verse 30 is referring to. Either way, there is no error in the Quran here. So a post is wrong yet again, or he doesn't understand uh, how to analyze Quranic verses.